What is up everyone, Stefan here from TechRite. Today I will be showing you what is on my ZTE Blade Z Max. Now, for some reason, a lot of you wanna know what's on my ZTE Blade Z Max, what wallpaper I have on it, what launcher I'm running on it, what apps do I have on it, what apps do I use on the daily. So I'm gonna be showing you that in this video, so stay tuned. <laughs> So first to actually talk about what's on our ZT Blade Z Max, we have to talk about the case. So the case I have on here is a TPU case. I really don't like uh, big clunky cases because this is a 6 inch phone and it does get very very huge if you put that on there. So I do have a case from Caseology. This was about $7. It's just a little plastic uh, Caseology case, but I'm liking it so far. The only downside to it really is that it doesn't have any... Um, raised cutouts for the uh, buttons on the right side but I like the case um, it keeps it very very slim and yeah let's go ahead and get into inside of the foam so going to the home screen uh, you guys can see that I am pretty much a minimalist um, I leave my phone stock I usually use Nova launcher on a lot of the phones that I have but I actually like the light skin that ZT offers on the ZT Blade Z Max so I just left it stock on here for this one now I usually have the weather widget I don't have it anymore I do not know why but I do have the subscriber count widget uh, we're at about 7500 subscribers uh, really appreciate you guys for the support uh, but if you are a subscriber you can go ahead and download this application subscriber count and go ahead and make a widget for yourself as well to keep track of your subs we also have Instagram on the home page snapchat gmail YouTube studio Skype Play Store subscriber count and YouTube these are the most important applications to me and these are the most apps that I use uh, so we're gonna go ahead and actually go into my app drawer and show you what I use inside of there inside of my app drawer I have this thing called the 18 minute workout you know I don't have a lot of time to work out so I usually do high intense workouts using that application really really do recommend it really really nice application uh, for anybody who's into fitness or needs to do a really quick workout with Amazon shopping with American Airlines Android Wear for the ZTE um, the ZT quartz that I actually just received from the Z community, which I'm loving so far. Really, really awesome smartwatch. Uh, we have Antutu benchmark to test any benchmarks. We have the App Store, Bullet Force, Calculator, all the stop app, stock applications, calendar, camera. I'm not really going to mention any more after those. Uh, but we have we have this thing called Cast. Um, so this is a pretty awesome thing for any of you retro gamers out there. I'm a retro gamer. If you guys know, I have some retro games behind me I actually have a collection in another room that's pretty dope you guys might want to see it one day but uh, I like playing a lot of ROMs on emulators and stuff like that so I think it was uh, pretty cool to download but you can actually cast this if you have a smart TV now you have Game Boy Color you have uh, Game Gear and you have NES so I like to play all the classics on the big screen I think it's really awesome and uh, really fun to play especially if you're a retro gamer we have Chrome uh, color note really do enjoy color note for any note taking it has a very very simple layout for anybody for the average consumer and application user it should not be a problem to use um, we have the device unlock you can unlock your device after 90 days pretty sure you guys know that we also have Dolby audio um, and in one of my tips and tricks videos I showed you guys how to go into the custom file you know turn on dialog enhancer and volume leveler and boost the volume all the way up and you should have a louder uh, volume doing that. Also have downloads. We have Drive, Duo, eBay. eBay, I saw a lot of lithographs and paintings on there on the side. I am an eBay power seller, so I did sell a lot, a lot of stuff on there. Probably over 3,000 items. Uh, we also have Facebook right here. We have Flappy Bird, a very, very addicting game. FM Radio, uh, Free64 for N64 ROMs. Uh, but this is an emulator. You guys can go ahead and, you know, get the ROMs off of Love ROMs or Custom ROMs or um, what else. You know, there's other ROM sites that you guys can go ahead and find those games. But, um, but yeah, cool, cool ROMs is a good place, too. Uh, but definitely an awesome application to play the N64. We have Gmail. We have Goat. Awesome application as well. 
I love GOAT. You can go ahead and buy, sell, and trade shoes on here. I am a sneakerhead, but I'm trying to, you know, chill out right now because I really can't, you know, get as many sneakers. <laughs> I'm not trying to, like, spend a lot of money on sneakers anymore. So, you know, I'm trying to stop with that app. But if you guys are sneakerheads, that's a great app. We have Google, Google Hangouts. I do use Google Hangouts on the daily for messaging YouTubers and, you know, other business stuff. Uh, we have Instagram. If you want to follow me, I'm at tech.right. Uh, we have Keep, another reminder app that's really, really awesome. We also have Lookout. We have Lyft. Lyft is actually an awesome application. If you guys have Uber, delete Uber, download Lyft. Lyft is pretty much half the price. And Lyft, they do better background checks on their drivers as well. We have messages, messaging, and messenger for Facebook. We also have Moonrise Icon Pack. Now, when I do have a launcher, uh, such as the Nova launcher, I do like putting the Moonrise Icon Pack. It's one of my favorite icon packs on the Play Store. Uh, but whenever I want to get a refreshed and new fill on my ZT device, I just go ahead and download that application to go ahead and change my icons up. We also have Netflix uh, offer up to buy, sell, and trade any kinds of stuff in your area. We have PayPal. We have Piano Tiles 2. I actually hold a world record on Bluestone Alley. I'm not sure if it's still there. Hopefully it is. I'll have to check. I haven't played in about a year, but I held a record for a while, which is pretty awesome. We also have Pokemon Go, Popcorn Time, which is uh, a pretty sketchy app. Uh, do have a VPN network available if you guys are going to use the application because you can get caught for it. Uh, it's very unlikely to happen, but you can get caught for, uh, you know, getting movies and illegally illegally downloading them online. We also have two sensor uh, applications right there to test out the sensors in your phone just to make sure that they are working correctly. We have Skype uh, where I do business calls. We also have Snapchat. Follow me at tech.right if you guys are not already doing so. We have Sonic 1, which is pretty fun. I think you guys know it's on the Genesis, one of my favorite games of all time. We have Speed Test to test your um, you know, 4G speeds on your carrier. Very useful app. Spotify, probably the best music app other than Apple Music to go ahead and listen to music on. Uh, the Room, amazing, amazing, amazing puzzle game. Only 99 cents. I think it has like a 4.9 rating. It's an amazing puzzle game. If you guys are really into puzzle games, definitely pick that up. Great content for 99 cents. We also have True Skate right here, one of my favorite games. Uh, it's basically like um, a fingerboard. Uh, you can go ahead and skate around and do tricks and stuff. It's just really fun, really awesome. You can go to different skate parks and stuff. Uh, we also have Twitter right here, you know, TechRight101. Go ahead and follow me if you are not already. Uh, Venmo, now this is an application that people are using more and more. Uh, more of the millennials uh, kind of crowd is using this, but this is definitely going to be more popular in the future. Uh, you can go ahead and pitch in for like an Uber ride or pitch in to buy something uh, through credit cards, PayPal, debit cards, stuff like that. Definitely look into getting Venmo in the future though. It's a really, really useful application. Uh, next one is Visor. You can actually control your phone uh, via PC. You, it's actually a Google uh, Chrome extension, and you can actually control your phone through your PC or your Chromebook. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to try to use that in the future. Uh, maybe give a tutorial on how to use it, but I think that would be really useful to any of you YouTubers that want to go ahead and start doing tutorials and stuff on your phone. We also have wallpapers. I love this wallpapers app. Uh, it's Google wallpapers, I think, or whatever, but they have some nice selection of wallpapers inside of there. We have YouTube, YouTube Gaming, YouTube Studio, and Zedge for all your notifications, ringtones, and wallpapers. One of the best places and one of the best sources to go ahead and pick that up. But yeah, guys, I hope you learned something new from this video. Uh, I hope you guys liked my setup. Uh, if you didn't, definitely drop it in the comments down below. Drop a like if you did enjoy this video, and please subscribe if you're not a part of the Tech Right fam. Um, also, if you guys want to go ahead and tell you, me like what applications you use on the daily and what launch you're running, uh, then put it in the comments down below. I would really like to know what you guys are doing. But this has been Tech Right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day as well. Peace out, guys.